Let's take a look at the colour panel, which behaves consistently between all Affinity apps. I'm working in Designer, but it will be in the top right of the interface when you open Photo or Publisher too. If for some reason it isn't, you can find it on the window menu. I'll drag it out so we can have a better look. In the centre of the panel, there is a ring containing the colour spectrum, and inside the ring is a triangle showing the selected colour. We can make the colour lighter, darker or more saturated by moving the selector towards each corner. If you prefer, you can change this to a square in the panel options. Now you can set the brightness vertically and saturation horizontally. If I want the most saturated option, the selector snaps to it when I'm close by. You can also change your colour representation to sliders, boxes or tints. And within sliders, we can work in different colour models like CMYK, LAB and RGB hex. Let's switch back to the wheel for now. In the top left are three circles. The full circle shows the fill and the donut shape shows the line colour. You can select colours from the centre of the panel or you can click the circle to open the colour chooser window. The fill and line colours can be swapped by left clicking the arrow just above. The third circle removes the colour from the line or fill. Your recent swatches are displayed next to the colour wheel for quick access. It will store your 10 most recently used colours. Below your recent swatches is a hex value box, so you can quickly enter codes without having to open the colour chooser window. At the bottom of the panel, you can change the opacity by sliding or setting a percentage. And if you click on the preview circle, you can add noise texture to your fill. If you need a colour that you don't have in your swatches, you can use the colour picker tool. Hold the left mouse button on the pipette and drag the colour picker over your colour. When you release the mouse button, the colour is stored in the picked colour swatch for you to select. So that's it, a quick look around the colour panel. For a small panel, it's packed full of useful features to help speed up your workflow. Thanks for watching.